Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Of course, since we're in quarantine, we are back with another tutorial of a palette that I should have done a first impression of a while ago. Um, I am uh, currently channeling my inner uh, Carol Baskin as much as I don't want to be, uh, but I haven't fed Nikki to a tiger yet, so I guess I'm uh, doing a little bit better. Uh, but I, uh, I'm wearing my animal print and I have animal ears on. And uh, the sad thing is, is I love animal print clothing and now I feel like I can't ever wear it ever again. So, uh, so yeah, it's an internal struggle here. But part of why I chose to wear what I chose to wear today is because I wanted to have like a cute top because I'm doing the cutest palette that I have bought I think ever, uh, definitely recently, but I am doing the Pure Times Barbie collection. I'm holding the highlighter so weird. Hold on, let me adjust that. Better. Okay, so I've got the palette and I have the highlighter. I'm just gonna say, I think Pure is one of the most underrated brands out there on the market. I love their products. I love the quality of their products. I have never bought a palette that I'm disappointed with. I just genuinely love them as a company. Um, some of my favorite collections, palettes that they've released have, that, that didn't make sense. Some of my favorite palettes have come from their collections that they have released. Um, I did a video around Christmas time where I reviewed the Pure Crystal Clear palette. And that was like a book just filled with eyeshadow colors, face colors, highlighters, everything you'd possibly want. And it's at such an affordable price point. I am not gonna lie, I picked this up. I think I picked this up around Christmas time or right after Christmas time. I really haven't bought a lot in 2020. So I'm assuming it was probably right around like December, January. Before I continue rambling on about how gorgeous it is, I just want to point out like how pretty these rocks and stuff are. Like my mom was like, you know what you should get? You should get one of those like little display things with like for plates, like little stands and then like set it up on your makeup area so you can actually look at it. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I very much considered doing that. When we move into the house, it may happen, but uh, it hasn't happened yet. But it is a gorgeous palette and then it does come with 12 really pretty, very Barbie-esque themed colors. You've got this beautiful pink, which I'll definitely be using today. There's this gorgeous like multicolored dimensional. It almost, it reminds me of a diamond. It's not very diamond a desk, but it just reminds me of that. This really pretty shimmer shade. You've got a blue, a shimmery black with gold reflectiveness in it. You've got purples and pinks and then neutral colors. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got this beautiful highlighter as well. Matches it, of course, little mini matching highlighter. And then it has just the cutest little like multicolored shades in there, which I love. One of my favorite highlighters is the Ofra one that has like six different shades in it. I think it's the Beverly Hills one, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but I just love to swirl them all around and I think it makes like the perfect combination of colors. So I'm very excited to test these out. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into this bad boy. Uh, really quick, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do that because we're fun here and I make uh, relevant references to pop culture sometimes. So like you can relate to me, I guess. Yeah, anyway. All right, let's do this. All right, like I said, I definitely want to accent this pretty pink color right here. I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot of this pink color, some of this neutral kind of brown color. Uh, definitely this nice white reflective color for like a brow bone um, type thing. I wanna use this guy and I think I'm gonna do blue on my underline because why not? I mean, what are we doing today? Absolutely nothing besides makeup. So, um, but I am going to start off with the highlighter. I'm gonna do exactly what I say that I do with my uh, Ofra one, Offer one, however you wanna say it. I flip back and forth between the two because I don't know. I wanna call it Offer up, but I think it's actually Ofra up, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna mix all the colors together and I'm going to get a really nice little blended shade. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, it is so reflective in my mirror. I don't know how it's appearing on camera, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I literally just like took it from the top and then dragged down. So that's how the, the color mixing went. All right, I'm gonna blend it out. Love the highlighter. I mean, I knew I would, cause like I said, I've never been disappointed with a pure product. Like I, I'm very honest about how I feel about products and companies and sometimes they're hit and miss. I love pure. So I'm very, very excited to test these out. Like I said. So now that the highlighter, now that we are glowing, we're gonna jump into the palette itself. I'm gonna pull out my little Luxie brush yet. I think that's what we're gonna mainly use here. If I can get it open, that's, that's the real struggle today. So I'm gonna take this kind of little mini fluffy bad boy right here and I'm going to go in with that vibrant pink shade. This guy right here. And I'm just gonna swirl him around. And I'm just going to tap him. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. I knew I would. I'm not surprised that I love it, but I just, it's so nice to see it like actually come to fruition. 
I will say, I will say, if you are somebody who wants more neutral palettes, more neutral colors, there are options for you in this one, but it may not be a great investment. I really wish I could remember how much this palette costs. I cannot because it was absolutely forever ago that I uh, purchased it. And um, <laughs> I you th would think that I would have the foresight to uh, sit down and Google it and see how much the uh, palette is, is going for these days, but I did not do that. So uh, here we are. I am gonna do this very messy because I'm actually gonna cut it out with, eye, um, with eyeliner, with concealer and I'm going to uh, make it a little bit more clean before I go in with the glitter pigment because I really want to see the payoff of the glitter pigment on um, like neutralized area. I love it though. It's, I mean, there is fallout, but I, once again, it may be the brush that I'm using. The payoff is just absolutely incredible. Just, just next level incredible. I got the Glitterly Pink Mask in one of my boxy charms last year and I did complain about it when I first received it because I get masks a lot and I am kind of frustrated with getting masks so often in my subscription boxes because skincare is not really one of the things that I highlight when I do like my profiles. But that being said, the Glitterly Pink Mask was actually one of my favorites. Um, I did a skincare video where I use it and I really liked the way that it, it actually went in there and like pulled out the stuff and it was really cute on as well. I've used it like four or five times since then too. So I got a good amount with the, the mask itself, but I am just, like I said, I just am a big fan of Pure. So I'm very, um, I'm very excited. All right, I'm gonna go in there with, uh, I'm gonna go in with this light pink shade actually. And I'm gonna do just like a little blend out to try and get like a, a little bit neutral up here up at the top. I'm loving it so far. I absolutely not surprised that I'm loving it because like I said, I love Pure. I've like really thought about like dream companies that I'd love to like collab with. And I think Pure is one of them, even though like, I feel like they're so underappreciated and people don't really think about them in terms of like the mega companies out there in the beauty community. I, oh my God, it'd be an absolute dream come true. I love Pure so much. All right, so that's pretty well blended in. So I am going to now go and do um, my under eye. I'm going to take the blue shade right here and a very teeny tiny little brush. And I'm just going to, oh no, I scraped it with the brush. Oh my God. I'm just doing it right on my under eye and I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's like almost a, it's like a periwinkle. It's not even blue, it's like a purpley blue. I, I freaking love it. Oh, I love this palette. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with concealer. We're gonna clean this area up and then I'm gonna do this beautiful baby right here. And we're gonna see how that looks and then I'm gonna decide what else I wanna to add to it. So uh, let me go ahead and clean up my uh, my eyes real quick and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned up my, uh, my lids with uh, just a nice little concealer. It's just like a little Makeup Revolution concealer that I have that works pretty well, but it's not very expensive because we don't cover it all up with some glitter. But I did wanna make sure it was nice and smooth before we did that. Um, I'm actually gonna go in with an angled brush, which I don't normally do, but I want a fluffy brush because I feel like for this glitter, it's going to work better than like a compressed a uh, little brush, if that makes sense. And if, oh my God, I was gonna say, if this doesn't work, then I'll use my finger, but holy crap, can you see all of the the glitter on there? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Okay, let's see. <gasps> oh my God, it's so pretty. Holy crap, I feel like a disco ball. Oh my goodness. I freaking love it. Unsurprised, but I I freaking love it. I love it. I am gonna make it a little bit of, of like a messy application like where it kind of like spreads out because I think that's gonna look really pretty. Oh my God. I wish I could go somewhere and show people how pretty this is, but I, alas. It's, I freaking love it. I freaking love it. I love everything about it. I just, uh, yep, 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 yep. Here we are. Wow, okay, okay. Other eye, other eye. Keep your composure till you see the other eye. I love Pure. If I haven't said that 8,000 times already in this video, I absolutely love Pure. They're one of my favorite brands. I think that they deserve a lot more love and acknowledgement, maybe is the right word, in the beauty community because they really have some quality products. They have quality products and inventive ideas and they do cool collaborations. They did a, co a Trolls collaboration, a My Little Pony collaboration, obviously the Barbie collaboration. They just have like the coolest freaking brand. I, I love them. I just love them. It's not much more I can say about it. Now I am gonna go in with just a teeny tiny little brush and I'm going to use that white color that I pointed out at the very beginning. I'm gonna use that as a brow highlight and like an inner corner. And then we're gonna add some mascara and we're gonna see how it looks. It is extra. It was supposed to be extra, that it was the goal of this. So I am happy with the fact that it is extra. 
All right, y'all, it's bright. It is damn shimmery and I am loving it. And I wanna see what it looks like with mascara on. All right, y'all, this here is the final product. Do you love it? I love it. It may not be for everybody. I will say the colors and everything, they do make it, um, I would say definitely more conducive to a bright eye look. Y'all wanna see the colors one more time so you can get a feel for whether or not it is the right palette for you. Those are them, those are the bad boys. They are, um, they're good quality and they're gorgeous. And I I think the palette full price is like maybe $29. It's not very expensive. I got it on sale. I don't remember what I paid for it. Nikki normally does that kind of research after the fact because I just sit down with the makeup and I do my best. Um, but I just love Pure, I really do. They're one of those brands that like consistently when I buy their stuff, I feel like I'm never gonna be disappointed and I have yet to be. So I continue to buy their stuff because I know it's quality. That was the palette. Again, this is the highlighter. The highlighter now compared to the eyes kind of looks muted, but it's it's there. I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it very well on camera or not, but it is gorgeous. I love it. I'm so excited. Um, and then of course you get just like the most precious packaging that I've ever seen in my whole freaking life. So I love it. I knew I was going to love it because I love Pure. I highly recommend Pure. Even if you don't choose this palette, I recommend looking at their stuff. They are, in my opinion, a very affordable uh, higher end makeup brand. And um, I think they need a little bit more love in the beauty community than what they normally get. So uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a good makeup brand, especially one that um, has good colors, but also has some good neutral stuff in there, I would recommend looking at them but that's just my humble opinion. So uh, what, what do I know? But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps the page out. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, like I said at the beginning, please do so. We would definitely love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. We're always looking to expand our little home into a, a bigger audience and, um, and show you guys some love and have you guys uh, show us some love back. So uh, yeah, definitely consider that. And other than that, I hope everybody's just staying really healthy and safe during this crazy time. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day and stay girly with the dark twist.